sjónvarpskjáinni sæmis arm eða undir sæti að ganga frá honum núna takk. Dear passengers, we shall be landing shortly, so please raise your seat back, footrest and tray table and make sure that your window shades are open. We're walking to get some food here in yeah. Uppsala. Hey, tell, tell me some things in Swedish. Köttbullar. Potatis. Jag tänker köra helt på svenska nu här. Vi ska käka lite middag innan innan Simba ska åka iväg till Kungsleden. Simba ser ut som värsta amerikanen. Han har köpt svenska som nu ser helt svensk ut. I have no idea what they just said, but we're gonna get some food. And I'm about to get on the train to go up to uh, Abisko Tourist Station. Abisko. Abisko Tourist Station. Kebabs. Kebab. Kebab corner. Shut up. Full of potatoes. Yeah, best food, Swedish food you can get. Right. All right. Time to say goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> See you guys. So this is Claus, and he told me I'm a hillbilly. <laughs> what do you have to say? He's the hipster hillbilly number one. Yeah, <laughs> sweet. Okay, I am leaving Absco Tourist Station, headed to the Kunstleden. 70 miles to Wi-Fi, should be a breeze. It is absolutely gorgeous out here. I'm walking along in this big valley, I guess. I don't know, or like plateau. There's glaciers up on the mountains up there. This is awesome. Okej, så vi är på Kungsleden och har tagit ett stopp precis innan Alles i Aure och jag håller på att lära mig att kasta vacka. Här är vi sjön. Bra! <laughs> I'm in the Alice Yara STF cabin. I think all continue to Chaksha. There's the trail right there. You cross this bridge and then walk up there and then go right through there. I love this place. Just about to arrive to Chaksha Mountain Hut. I made a big mistake. I believe I dropped my iPhone cord somewhere on the trail and my phone is at 7%. Whoops. <laughs> the host told me that it's possible that the Northern Lights will come out and to set an alarm for around midnight. So I'm definitely gonna do that. I hope so, fingers crossed, that'd be so cool. Kind of bummed about my iPhone cord though. I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. For now, just keep walking, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting here, having a little break. The day is so beautiful. I feel like I'm on the PCT. I'm wearing my PCT shirt. I just finished up uh, this weird Swedish candy. I've seriously seen reindeer every single day. This is so cool. I started way out there this morning. A 
up over a pass. And now I'm here. So amazing. We're live from the coon sled and it is 11 in the morning. I've got some uh, foot pain. Feels like a bee sting. Feels like I keep getting stung with a bee right on the top of my foot. It's okay, look at these views. It's happening, baby. I've got some bad news. I think I lost the trail. I don't know where it is. I don't know. I don't know where the trail is. Swedish chocolate for my snacks. left Salta Lucta I saw the northern lights last night it was absolutely insane they were dancing right above my tent excited for the rest of the trail still got a long ways to go but said to be some of the most beautiful coming up so we'll see I'm sitting here waiting for a boat to take me across the lake. Some private home with a trampoline and these benches. It's super funny, but I'm just gonna have some coffee, I guess. <laughs> like someone else likes kex bars just as much as I do. It's not exactly how I would have done it, but looks like I'll have to get another one. Good morning. Got some coffee. What are you making here? What do you got there? My coffee. What do you got there? I got nothing going on. Oh, you're gonna be hungry. 
Taking in the sun's rays. I only eat vitamin D from the sun. It gets me. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever sat somewhere this quiet. Some coffee. It's unbelievable. Today has been absolutely amazing. I I'm about to get to the fuel station called Kavikyuk. Have some rest, have some coffee, get a good night's sleep, uh, get some good food in me. I've walked from Aksa. So today I've done about 20, 20, 25 miles. 25 miles maybe? It feels good. <sighs> I'm loving it. This is an amazing trail. Woo! Candy, chocolate, candy and chocolate, candy and chocolate, uh, candy and chocolate, uh, candy and chocolate, 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 and food. That look. <laughs> what? How's that ice cream? Really good. Yeah? Yeah, it's my beer's better than ice cream. <laughs> Headed to uh, a boat. This is the 60 mile wilderness area, no huts, which is fine. I mean, that's pretty much normal PCT. It's uh, 1.30 in the morning, and I'm sitting in this cabin, watching the northern lights dance over the river and the mountains. Seriously, so, so thankful to be able to watch these things and so, so thankful for everything right now. I think I'm, I think I'm pretty tired though. <laughs> I think I might need to get some sleep. Stayed the night in this thing last night. Watched the northern lights over that mountain. They stretch from there all the way over there somewhere. See that moose antler on the top? I got bored last night and uh, went out and hunted some moose. Only got four or five of them, but I decided to hang the antler. Just had a corny big and making some ramen. Top ramen. Top ramen, right there. I really am not sure what to think of this mushroom. You know what I've been thinking about all day? I just want a nice place to sit down. Some sort of a nice place to sit down or something. Walking in the rain. And I'm about 11 miles to Vota Jovikin or something and that's where the angry boatman is. Yeah, pretty clear skies. Might see if the northern lights come out tonight. Just kidding. Last night was a brutal one. It's so windy and so cold. Most of my stuff is pretty wet right now. My hand is like freezing off filming this. Boat ride went well. And the guy was, it wasn't as bad as he's worked up to be. I tried to wave goodbye to him and he just stared at me like this. I have to row. <laughs> I gotta row from here to there. It's not that far. Back and then across again. So, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> I feel defeated. Yesterday I couldn't row. It was so windy. I'm across the lake for the first time. Now to row back with the second boat and then across again. <sighs> Bye.
Success! Woo! Time to hike. Only three miles to Yakvik. Coffee, chips, Yakvik. Leaving the hostel in Yakvik. Heading back to the trail. Don't have that far to go today to some coffee shop or something called Adolf, Adolf Strom. I'm hoping to get this trail done in maybe five more days, five, maybe six more days. I'm just getting into uh, Adolf Strom. A holiday village of some sort. I could either camp, but it looks like it's gonna rain. So we'll see how much the little huts are to stay in. I'm getting kind of sick of camping in the cold rain. Uh, now I know how to get around town. Take this this thing out for a spin. I don't know why I've been hiking. I might as well just take this thing around. You know the Goosebumps episode where everyone's zombies and uh, everyone's like, oh. I feel like I'm in that episode of Goosebumps right now. There's nobody around, but there's cars everywhere and it's so quiet. Leaving the cabin. It's a cool little cabin. It's crazy how much some good rest and a lot of water can change your uh, mentality on hiking. Two days ago I was like bummed out and feeling so tired and now I'm like so excited for the rest of the trail. Yeah, you yeah, put it in your movie. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you will. <laughs> this feels really cool. This is one of the reasons I love hiking. I came from behind that mountain. That mountain way out there. I came from behind it yesterday. What are you guys eating? It's uh, pasta with nuts. Adventure yeah. food. Yeah. Because we are on a real adventure over here. <laughs> oh yeah. We I'm just. So, I'm so happy. This is, this is amazing. We just uh, watched the Northern Lights right outside of our little cabin for the night. It's really great. What do you think, man? Yes, yeah, one of the coolest thing I saw on this trip. <laughs> We've been waking up for like uh, four or five days at 3 a.m. Always too late, and now we just woke up. To <laughs> Good morning. It's a great morning. There's snow on the mountains this morning. I've said the word morning a lot, but here's the snow on the mountains this morning. It's been a great. It's been a great trip. Although cold and rainy and muddy a lot, it's worth it. <laughs> yeah. No. It's a person who makes a lot of saliva. A lot. So in, in Dutch, it's like uh, somebody uh, who bullshits a lot. Who bullshits a lot. Yeah. Who bullshits a lot? <laughs> Is that what I am? Uh, for the moment, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. 
you know, I'm almost to town and I'm super hungry and I can't stop thinking about how much I'm craving pancakes. And I'm walking on the trail and all of a sudden I see this. So, uh, yeah, give me that, give me that pancake. This is great because I set my shoes out to dry and uh, it's raining outside. I still have one spot over here. <laughs> <laughs> you should hold that up. Oh. <laughs> I think it's going to break up the handle. <laughs> <laughs> Just got to serve a stugan. Yeah, I'm gonna do some reading, some drawing and writing in my notebook, eat some food, enjoy the last little bit of the trail. <laughs> I'm so fortunate to be out here and I'm just so fortunate. I'll be back here one day, that's for sure. <laughs> Only two more days on the trail. One and a half, actually. It's crazy. Cloudberry and blueberry muffins. So sadly, today is my last day on trail. Last full day anyways. One more hut tonight and then I'm out in tomorrow. It's crazy. The host where I stayed last night, he grows his own potatoes and he's super into it. He put these potatoes together for a friend of his and he told me to deliver it to them. So I'm a Sherpa for the day. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> you haven't eaten it before? No. Can I smell it? Maybe you don't like it. Is that cloudberry? Yes. Oh, yeah. You, you don't like it, yeah. It's the last night. Hello Utah, my name is Margareta. Uh, I've been here for 21 years and uh, I'm very happy when I come guest here. <laughs> It's the last short day. I can't believe it's pretty much over. The mountains have fresh coating of snow. I'm super excited right now. It's been an amazing time, that's for sure. Woo -hoo! This is pretty much it. I've got four kilometers to Hamaven, which is two and a half miles. Basically nothing. Under an hour left of walking. It's super beautiful out. So excited. So happy right now. So happy. Still can't believe it. <laughs> really is the last couple moments. I just saw an owl. That was really cool. It's been one hell of a trail, that's for sure. <laughs>
Oh man, I'm, I'm kind of speechless right now. <laughs> wow. There it is. Welcome to Hamaven. Welcome to Hamaven. And then on the other side, Kungsleden! Woo! Finished. I finished the trail. I seriously feel so good right now. Oh, I can't believe it. I love hiking. I love walking. I love being in the mountains. And I'm so lucky right now because <laughs> it's just not starting to rain. In the bus stop in Hamaben, waiting for the bus to Umia. From there, I'll take a train to Uppsala. Six hour bus ride, 10 hour train ride. Should be exciting. <laughs> 